Ahoy, this is the news. Controversial tech millionaire Brian Johnson claims he has slowed his father's rate of aging by 25 years after giving him transfusions of his super blood. Hmm. Ironic, since most rich tech bros prefer to be inside of younger men. He's <laughs> <laughs> changing it, you know. Switching the game. He's a, he's a mover and a shaker. Uh, Taylor Swift, the uh, Tay Swift, was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year, beating out Barbie, King Charles III, and the guy who hit Paul Pelosi with a hammer. <laughs> Which was my vote. Oh, I voted for him. Yeah. I, I would have hit him twice. Vote button. <laughs> yeah. Actress Juliana Margolis issued a public apology days after some took offense to her claim that, quote, black and LGBTQ communities have been brainwashed to hate Jews. She later backtracked and said, never mind. After all the hate and anti-Semitism I received from that comment, I realize that they are, in fact, very nice. <laughs> NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell wants to ban the Tush Push, a nearly unstoppable play used by the Philadelphia Eagles in which players push the ball carrier from behind in an effort to gain extra yardage. Mm. Boy, the last time a Philly Tush Push got this much attention, Will Smith got his butt tunneled by one of his male co-stars. <laughs> butt tunnel? <laughs> the old butt tunnel? You guys yeah, ever hear that one? Classic Bro, move. That's my, old... favorite. Yeah. my favorite ride at the fair. Oh, you and me both. <laughs> You remember kissing in the butt tunnel? Oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. It was a carny. <laughs> First ride when I, was when I was six. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Family reunion. I'll Uncle never Steve. forget it. You Sorry. murdered that. You murdered that ride. <laughs> oh. You murdered the that ride and murdered me. You murdered the butt tunnel. I watched yeah. my friend get murdered on it. Get railed <laughs> on the rails of the track. Carmen Electra announced that she has finally joined OnlyFans. If I had a dollar for every time I fantasized about her in the 90s, I'd have enough money to subscribe to her OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. Assuming the price of her subscription was $244. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Normal World. I'm Dave Landau. I'm Quarter Black Garrett, and today we have Derek Richards. Who went out the other Here. night with Mangela. Yeah. I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, it's just odd that you're here now. It was, the date started off romantic, and then, like I said, I don't want to talk about it. I oh, just, okay. we haven't seen her today. Yeah, like she, I said. She didn't come in. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sorry, I apologize. All right, uh, we also have. <laughs> we move on. Comedian, Austin Robertson. Hey, thanks for having me on. Welcome appreciate to the you show, guys. my friend. Yeah, I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. And homegrown terrorist, Adam Johnson. <laughs> Hey, what's going on, everyone? Thanks for, uh, what's up? Thanks for having me. That's an appropriate title. Everyone's called me that now. It's, yeah. It means nothing. I'm glad oh, you could I, make it. I'm just glad I'm you're good humored about it. I'm glad you, you're out. Yeah. Some days I miss it. It's quiet. Yeah, you have five kids, right? I do. I understand. Yeah. They did my laundry, lots of naps. I actually came out the best version of me. That's nice. <laughs> yeah. You should make it a group thing, That's you know, like books. a men's retreat. Every year we show up, Jan 6, together, and then we go away for a while, come back. It's actually yeah. very easy to go to prison. We could actually pull this off. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to uh, show up or not. Yeah. <laughs> you just got to tweet something in some cases. You just have to, yeah. You just have to somehow collude from 30 yeah. states away. All right. Uh, moving on. <laughs> I don't want to get him in more trouble. Yeah, like Thank a, you for joining us today, just both. Tack on another three weeks <laughs> to his sentence there. I know, exactly. I don't want to make it worse. We're going to take this back. Speaking of uh, people who might be in a bit of hot water, mm -hmm. uh, P. Diddy is now a uh, fourth accuser has come out against him. A new lawsuit filed today against Diddy, uh, accusing him of rape and. Uh, by, that, by that man? Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, that's. Is, who's the guy P on the wait, right? P, P. Diddy. Is that the guy you raped? From yeah. my eyes here, it's Charles Barkley. <laughs> it doesn't look like Charles Barkley. <laughs> but it's not. Man, I know Diddy, it's not. If Diddy tush pushed him. Yeah, what? Good for Oof. him. I don't think it's him, though. No, I think uh, it, <laughs> I could get through that. So <laughs> the Diddy's fall guy? <laughs> I, I, it wasn't me. I don't know what he fell on. I haven't even finished the story. And <laughs> so <laughs> sex trafficking. <laughs> <laughs> the fourth uh, such legal act, uh, it's it's now the fourth legal action taken oh. against him. According to court documents filed by an unnamed Jane Doe, she alleged that Combs and two others gang raped her. Okay, that's the guy. He helped gang rape oh. this girl when she was 17 Compost. years old. 
Uh, we do actually have a statement from Diddy. Enough is enough. I just have to scroll up there if we want me. For the last couple of weeks, I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character, destroy, like he did Biggie, mm. destroy my, or Tupac. Or Tupac. Yeah. Destroy my reputation and my legacy. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear. I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. Well, I hope, you know, I hope he's not. We also do have another do that, so. video statement as well, I That's believe. true. Forgot about that. It's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, check this out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the Frosted Flakes, you know what I'm saying, before pause was invented, you know what I'm saying, but it's my brother for real, we used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the Frosted Flakes because he used to always get up early with me, and now he's one of the richest stars in the world, and I'm Yo, like, what, what the, the fuck, fuck did Puff just say? Nobody's going to acknowledge this for me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the Frosted Flakes. And we're streaming live. That was stupid. Listen, that was fucking stupid. Listen, we're having a good time, yo. Are you usher made in the yo. I almost took him out. Yeah, I think, I think Kevin's right. Yeah. You know, he, he has the most appropriate name for being accused of something, though. Diddy? Yeah. That's true. Diddy? Nah. He's playing the long game. He's just dropping mm -hmm. little egg crumbs. Yeah. There, like, also, know. Daddy didn't help. Did you see that the first one he got accused of, it was uh, settled in like a day? It did? Was it really? Yeah. That's that's money. Mm. That's how you know you're rich. Yeah. yeah when it's a when it's a year long trial with a court appointed, you're not crushing it. Nah, you're going to jail. Okay. This no. guy got accused when he was shaving, and it was settled before he had a five o'clock shadow. Yeah, they were like, "Look, you're good. That's money." Like, what? Uh, where's the accuser? And they're like, "We said you're good." Already had a team ready. Yeah. Where'd PD get all that money? I've got an invite to an island later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he did he? Yeah. He's the producer of Bad Boys. Records? That's what I'm saying. Plus he got all that cat. Oh. oh, all the money went back. Oh. Allegedly. In Minecraft. I see. P. Diddy. The P to the D. Okay. You know, actually, all you know, maybe he's not perfect person. P stands person. for penis. <laughs> Is he going to change his name person. now? This is going to be like his fourth name change. Yeah. The worst <laughs> thing he's he ever done, though. New name's going to be didn't. Every time he commits <laughs> a crime. Didn't do it. Every time he didn't. Nope. He didn't. He commits if a I crime. Did he? He's like, who's Sean Combs? Yeah. That's, that's I'm why he keeps changing my his name. name. Scraggle Crunch. <laughs> he's had all these uh, the cases against him, and he's like, hey, my name's Diddy now. Yeah. What happened to Sean? <laughs> well, Sean, he's, he's, he's I'm, I'm Diddy. He, Call me yeah. Diddy. Just a, just a puffy now. You mean the yeah. guy in Monsters Ball? I don't know. Never heard of him. Yeah. He, needs, he needs to trans himself because they will just leave him alone. They might even give him a award for doing it. That's the last That's card. True. That's the last card to pull. Yeah. It's like Kim Smith. Paul Change Diddy. your name seven times and then do that. That's the best way to do it. You strategy. can run someone over. I'm on my third oh, name right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys don't even know my real name. I don't. <laughs> well, I did see your driver's license. Josh? Well, but it was that of a woman, so Sam? I think you may have hurt. Yeah. <laughs> well, wow. she's no longer with us. God, I'm like, why do you have six driver's license of women? You're like, why like, do you I, ask so many questions, Dave? Yeah, yeah you're like, hey, how about stay out of my glove box? <laughs> or as I call it, my trophy hole. <laughs> my toolbox. Oh, the old trophy hole. My the old Wilson. <laughs> butt tunnel the trophy <laughs> hole. <laughs> butt tunnel the trophy that's hole. What, uh, that's what Dwayne Martin calls Will Smith's butt, the old trophy hole. Yep. <laughs> that's settled him for life, dude. <laughs> Yeah, you're never going to live that down even if it's not true. I mean, it is. But yeah. if it wasn't, it's <laughs> tough. <laughs> hey, uh, so hey, over the on, weekend... Here's my impression of Will Smith leaving Dwayne's house. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Jolly? <laughs> Uh, yeah, Jolly. Jolly, not in a wheelchair from being butt oh, tunneled. Yeah, someone else came down his chimney. <laughs> yeah, someone did. Yeah. yeah, that's true. He'd probably, be, he'd probably be sitting on his knees while someone else pushes him on this. Those knees got worked out. Oh, they did. Yes. Oh. Thick. Did you leave me yeah. some milk this time? Yeah. Did you just... Someone's been it's naughty. A cookie. Yes. <laughs> How come there's no cookies and just milk and different kinds leave of milk? Leave you a present. I think for that one, you lay out Newports and a 40. It's true. And then you throw milk down your back. Yeah. You light some candles. Well, this has gone Essential. off the rails. Yeah, I like one. the uh, bo <laughs> Born on the Fourth of July Santa. 
You haven't seen these? No. You these are, this is real at Target. This is Lieutenant Dan Santa. There's one on your desk. This is for sale at Target. That's hysterical. Because everything's inclusive, yeah. so they have a handicapped Santa. Those are part of the gift baskets we get here at Normal World as mm-hmm. guests. Yes, it's true. We give them to you. <laughs> yes. But yeah, you get a handicapped Santa. They should have taken his legs and called him diabetic, too. Well, you would assume they would at least You're covering all that. these bases. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You could Take off a with... foot. Yeah. At least do that. Is nope. he wearing all the cookies, cuts? man? How's he going to get down the chimney without a foot? That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupid part, yeah. <laughs> that would be dumb. Absurd. <laughs> because Dancer and Prancer are folding the wheelchair and shoving it down the chimney. Oh, the ramp? Yeah. yeah. No, that one would have uh, pit bulls instead of reindeer. It would. Mm-hmm. There's 12 pit bulls out front. It's, it's possible. We should ease up Some on rots. those jokes. <laughs> the, the dog jokes? We're going to need handy, capable spots at our houses yes, now for him to deliver gifts on Christmas. <laughs> where am I supposed to park this sleigh? I have a you expect me to walk from three houses down, you monsters. I have a feeling we're going to be extra watch this episode. Well, Let's not get you another my first TV days. appearance ever, and it's not going to go on air, huh? Is that what that's, I'm hearing? That's what we're giving you, yeah. I was really looking forward to this, and none of it's going to make it. Yeah. For God's It'll also be my last appearance, I think. And they're going to Batwoman this one. It's going to get yeah. out of the arc. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's getting canned. Yeah, carrots oh, are black. Shit. Let's take it easy. <laughs> 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 Uh, hey, speaking of, uh, uh, GTA. The, Wait, uh, what do you mean speaking of? Claim, I, I, you said Garrett's Black, and then you're like, speaking of, Grand Theft Auto. Grand Theft Auto, oh, the yeah, video game. You're right. That trailer that, just that came out. clearly geared to... All right, go on. Uh, Dave, you, you've played the old GTA before? <laughs> I have. In fact, I've been playing the uh, the trilogy on Switch just recently. Remaster. Yeah, the remaster with San Andreas. Is it good? So, like the remaster? I don't like the controllers on it, but you still get to be on a plane and hitting people with bats and stuff while somebody next to you is like, why is a... 40 year old man <laughs> playing this game because he can. Uh, well, yeah, San Andreas is my favorite one. It's my favorite one you know, by far. San Andreas, the, the GTA plot. Can you work. work out on that one? You get buff. Mm-hmm. That was so cool that you could like, work out or you could eat and get fat. Dude, my mom would come in. I'm like 12 years old and I'm just working out. Yeah. She's like, What are you doing? What is this game? You're lucky it was working out. My mom came in and it was uh, the other. I was also jerking off, and she's like, "Well, (laughs) why is there a large black man working out on your video game and your pants are down?" I liked it better when you was like, "I don't know." Video game, mom. (laughs) Yeah. So let's watch the trailer. Let's watch it. Why are you watching home videos? Lucia, do you know why you're here? Bad luck, I guess. through this is by sticking together, being a team. Trust? Trust. At first, I didn't know what to think, but then I realized it's exactly America now. Yeah, that's the thing. So uh, GTA, it's always been known for being like over the top and taking the world and kind of enhancing it. Uh, but some people found some comparisons from the trailer to real life. Well, look who's back. The only way we're going to get through this is by sticking together, being a team. Literally the same thing. Except the the real people look trashier. That's true. <laughs> I and, I guarantee, and I guarantee you Tom Petty is not the soundtrack. No, I promise you. <laughs> I thought that was just <laughs> iPhone <laughs> footage from a Morgan Wallen concert. Yeah. <laughs> Close. I didn't know that was Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> 
Well, part of it was. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. I was... The woman twerking on top of the uh, car. Do you remember that person running for office? Yes. Uh, twerking upside <laughs> yes. down. That's who they model that after. Yes. I also like twerking on the coffins. Oh, uh, yes. That's going to be my funeral. <laughs> I, I want to make sure that like six hoes show up. Like, yeah. Just straight ghetto prostitutes. Chicken heads. And just twerk all over my, my coffin. Do a line off of it? Oh, yeah. And I yeah. just want everybody to be like, do you, do you know these, these gals? Alexa lineups. Alexa deceased. lineups. Some Six 80s hair Dave's music funeral. playing in the background. Yeah, I'll have Tom Petty playing for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's my Tom Petty. <laughs> I hope this is just cocaine. Oh. <laughs> that's the legend, oh, Tom Perry. No. Petty. Perry. Stop in my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Last dance with cocaine. I was so happy he OD'd in a good way. Hear me out. Wait a second. Okay. Hear me out. Okay. When Tom Petty, they said it was a heart attack. I was like, a rock star should never die of a heart attack like that. But then when they found out it was a drug overdose, I was like, oh, thank God. Because, I mean, you don't want legends to die of natural causes. Agree. No. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to hear about that. You want to hear how they went say. out in a blaze of glory. Mm -hmm. So him ODing in his house is, is far better. Yeah. Then dying peacefully with your family by your side. Exactly. Yeah. Boring. No, him playing a guitar and realizing that there's a whoopsie in his bag of coke. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to go. <laughs> that he has Is his, that the medical term? I believe yes. so. He has his it penis tied off too tight while he's shooting yeah. while he's shooting heroin in it. Yeah, every time my <laughs> every <laughs> every time my doctor had told me somebody has uh died who I love, they're like, We had a whoopsie doozy. <laughs> and I go, Oh, okay. And then that's fine. We don't we don't look into it any mm. further. There's no investigation. <laughs> who, said, who said this? Uh, any doctor. family doctor. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Whoopsie doozy. Is your, is your doctor's <laughs> name Phil? <laughs> Cause your death. Doctor. Whoopsie doozy. Yeah. You're. Oh well, you got a whoopsie doozy there. Afraid your mom died of a silly worm. <laughs> what is that? A bamboozle, I could say. <laughs> She was squashed bucket. Are you sure? <laughs> is that a technical term? Yes, it is. Oh, I'm afraid your friend had a kiss of the fancy dance. And you're like, it was HIV, yes? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> I'll tell you what's bad, HIV, but I'm going to go ahead and tell you what's good. What is it? Miracle sheet. Oh, oh, man. That was seamless. Thank you. Smooth. That's right. Like 12-year-old scotch. Yes. Indeed. Try miracle.com slash normal. To try it today or gift it for Christmas. For Christmas. <laughs> to someone special this holiday season. <laughs> and we've got a special deal for you. Yeah, we listeners. do. Save over 40%. And if you use your promo, this is a train wreck. If you use your pro, anyway, miracle.com slash normal and use the code normal to claim your three piece towel set and save over 40 percent again that's trimiracle.com slash normal to treat yourself or a friend this season to a wonderful 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 set of sheets i have them they are amazing mm -hmm. and really it's a deal it's a great deal the best deal. The best deal there ever was. Is that Trump over there? You'll yeah. never hear a better deal. This is the best deal. I was told to read a call of action, which is not written in. That was it. You did it. Did I do it? Oh, you did it, bro. Seamlessly? Seam oh, Seamlessly. And see that? I didn't once mention any perfect. sort of... Oh, we're still in the commercial. Oh. So go to trymiracle.com <laughs> slash normal and get these beautiful, miracle, wonderful... Miraculous sheets Ooh. that make it feel like you're sleeping on a on a wet dream that's dry. Oh, oh miracle how made! Many times have I done that? <laughs> <laughs> I just have to wait, wait, wait. It's actually less comfortable than you'd think. These are way better. Yeah. <laughs> is this still is this still going? Did I just yeah. interrupt that? No, no, that was that's all part of it. <laughs> you it brought Trump in. I want to thank the them. wonderful sheets. But the I do want to thank them sincerely. I got a guy. He said these are great sheets. Have you tried the sheets? I have, yes. Uh, if you're like me, you sleep with fiberglass suppositories. Oh, nice. Up and it's mm. just a mess. These things clean themselves. 
It's amazing. Incredible. Yeah, they're they're fantastic. They are. <laughs> I think that's your yeah. Your wife is doing all this, and you're like, wow, these are great sheets. And the good news is, it comes with three towels afterwards to help you know expedite the process. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you get a hand deal. towel, mm -hmm. a face towel, mm -hmm. and a body towel. But you know what? Your awesome. choice on what you want to use for which. Yeah, I'm not your doctor. This is a free country. No, we've heard about your doctor. Yeah, I think I think from what I've said. <laughs> how, many, how many threads are we talking on these Dr. sheets? Vinny Boombots. You know what? Enough, high, high. enough threads to help me sleep very well. That's Austin. a high quality linen right there. Damn right it is. Enough. Adam cuts eye holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> Uses them on the weekends for meetings. In this economy, it was my Halloween costume. <laughs> it's a ghost. Classic. Yeah, the ghost of Joe Biden. You're the past. most <laughs> the most comfy ghost out there. <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> oh God, the ghost of Joe Biden's past. I don't think you'd want to be. Oh, oh my! Can you imagine just Lord. this series of nightmares? Like, imagine if he has dementia and then had to remember everything. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> like, imagine no. he if he had to remember everything he forgot. Like, imagine finding so out he forgot that's everything. That's not a nightmare. That's remembered. a reminisce for him. I don't like, think he has dementia now. He's just blocking things out. Mm hmm. I think he has dementia, and I think that if it all came rushing back, like, imagine finding out you're a monster, like, all in one day. Yeah. Mm. What if somebody just, like, flashes, <laughs> you know, like, get out, somebody flashes flash photography during one of the meetings, and it all comes spilling yeah. out? Mm -hmm. Well, that's why he eats a lot of ice cream. The brain freeze just stops the headaches. That's true. <laughs> it just makes it feel better. <laughs> <laughs> it just eases ice cream. I was reminded that I was a monster work. in one day in my divorce proceeding. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that was quick. She took everything, right? Huh? <laughs> there wasn't much. That's good. <laughs> we filed for bankruptcy, so here, yeah. enjoy, <laughs> enjoy a pile of debt. She left me with the herpes. <laughs> that's all I know. <laughs> well, she took half of them. <laughs> oh, no, she got her fair share. <laughs> we multiplied. Yeah, you guys uh, spread you the lawyer, wealth here. While you're trying to figure out who gets how many genital warts. <laughs> One, two, I only to, get mine on the weekend. <laughs> it's tough to divide that in court. If you pay for the tits, do you get to see them? I feel like you could get them back. You get parental visit rights? Yeah. Get one. Yeah, you, every now and then you get to pick up your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Just get one, put it on your mantle. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Like a bowling trophy? Yeah. Or... Or a tunnel of love trophy. <laughs> a love tunnel. <laughs> a butt tunnel trophy. The the butt tunnel. The BT. Big old BT. Mm -mm -mm. The BTW. Trophy color. hole. The trophy hole. That's right. Norman Lear died. Oh, what? He's 101. Uh, oh, well, segue. that makes sense. COVID. <laughs> 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 COVID. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, he was uh, murdered outside Very of old. Indiana. Skydiving? Yep. <laughs> Fell off a motorcycle. Uh, produced he produced <laughs> heart attack in a whorehouse. We can't. <laughs> hit by a Walmart truck. It's legendary. What did his, uh, Dave, what did his doctor say to him? <laughs> to his family? His doctor said he had a real son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the this is the worst case of son of a gun I've seen in twenty years. Like, oh man, I don't know what it was. It's skittly winked. Yeah. And off this mortal coil. You did dibbly doo dop. <laughs> yeah, but we've, if I've seen it once. I've seen it a million times. Man had a flip carriage. He's dead. <laughs> oh, screw on. <laughs> the, old, the old right there, Fred. Yep. Where's your diploma? Well, who now? <laughs> it says, oh, no. It's the university. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same university as Dr. It's signed Seuss. with squiggles. <laughs> Why is your diploma signed with a, a crayon? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, who? <laughs> You're going to have to skedaddle out of here. I said, I said, I said he's turning it into <laughs> Foghorn Leghorn. Like, yeah. I said, I said, oh, well, you got a, I got a case of the Whitley Dinks I there. Said, I said, a hundred year old man, oh, gee. Uh, so, but uh, he did die normally at 101 years old on fentanyl, <laughs> and he produced TV shows. <laughs> he did produce TV. Legendary shows. producer. Legendary producer. All and, in the family. And drug runner, and killed in a shootout. Mm -hmm. uh, all in the family. Maud, good times. Good times. Uh, Mary Jefferson's. Hartman, was killed in Jeffersons. a shootout. Yeah. Vegas. He took some others with him, though. Okay. Yeah. He started to see them. Yeah, he checked. Well, the problem is he he checked into a, a, the Pioneer Resort, which was very low. 
<laughs> he couldn't do much damage. He mm. shot a couple park cars. Yeah. Mm. He had a real problem with SSRIs. Yeah. <laughs> also help finance Spinal Tap. Guy just snapped. Stand by me. <laughs> the Princess Bride. Princess Bride. Yeah. Fried Green Tomatoes. Uh-huh. He could have left that out. He financed all those. Oh, that, that's amazing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That cool. Um, what, so you what you don't like uh, Princess Bride? I love Princess Bride. Oh, okay, I thought you I've were throwing some it. shade on the Princess Bride. I was referring to. Fried I've never Green seen it. Oh, okay, I've never seen. You've never film. seen them? No, I've, I've, I've I haven't seen, seen anything that you mentioned. You've seen Fried Green Tomatoes, yes. but not Princess Bride. Yes, I remember the one scene. I think it was Correct like twelve that. or something where we're going to show each other our vaginas. That's for that movie, right? What that's was that not movie? in that's, that's Princess Bride. That, no, that's not Princess no. Bride. That's Fried Green Tomatoes. Is that in Fried Green Tomatoes? So yes. I have to go watch it now that it's not 1991. Yeah. Maybe I'll get it more because that year I saw my girl, and they didn't have a show me mine, show me yours scene. It was just a old kid dying of bee stings, which is ironically because that's how Norman Lear died at the age of one hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Stung to death bees. by bees. He's a beekeeper. <laughs> Killed by his passion. Bees guarding a meth lab that he tried to break into. <laughs> the mythos. <laughs> Decided to take out a canoe at a Obama's ranch. <laughs> <laughs> Started researching Hillary Clinton. Yeah. yeah a little too in depth. Yeah. He Googled Hillary Clinton. <laughs> Rumor has it he's going to have six hoes twerking on his... Coffin <laughs> with Tom Petty playing. Dang it, that was Dave's thing. What are you going to do now? Oh, well, I don't know. God. It's going to be older hoes, though. It's going to be like like Florida. From <laughs> worse. Like those flight attendants that have been in the air for 45 years and they're just, no longer hot. Yeah. yeah. They all those work ones? for Frontier and Spirit. Yeah. Like, yeah. You're going to have those hoes? Yeah. As they're twerking, their bones just sound like dry spaghetti cracking. Yeah. <laughs> My wife knows I want to. Is be that fireworks? Cremated. You want that, that, My wife knows I want to be cremated and put in tiny little spice jars and passed out and sold to my family. I like that. That's that a way, great. You know, you can spice up your life a little bit, a little, a little bit, Adam. I like that. Mm-hmm. And if they don't want it, don't tell them and just put it a little on yeah. their food and uh-huh. be like, "How how's your chicken?" How's that taste? Well, this all sounds insane. <laughs> what would you? How do you, <laughs> you guys are like, no, you, how you nobody. Everybody was like, yeah, that's nice. That's uh, that's sweet. That's a great idea. You guys are psychos. How, do you, how would you do it? <laughs> how would I when I die? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I just just like throw me in a trophy hole. I mean, personally, just launch me down someone's butt tunnel, dude. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah, personally, I just, just hope. save the money. They can yeah. study you in like a thousand years and pulling out and like, oh, what is this? It's the butthole, man. Yeah, I just hope the mate. So they would call my me pants too. Pants up, and everybody thinks I killed myself. <laughs> I told my wife if I were going to a coma, I wanted to put me in an actual vegetable costume. <laughs> the whole time? The whole time. You're just laying there as broccoli? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the doctors are like, we don't find this cute. Lucy. They're like, it's in his living will. I can't. The, this is it, a... actually, it actually is. They make, you, <laughs> they make you fill out the thing. I actually was so pissed about this. So I had a whole list of instructions. I got to be dressed like a vegetable. Right. And I once um, heard a dress up as Skeletor and come into the room and say, oh, no, my greatest enemy has died. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do that? No, no. She was very upset about that. She said she's not doing that. I want, uh, I think you should be able to do it. Yeah, you should be able to do anything you want. I'm dead. I won't care. Well, it sounds know. funny now, but that, imagine... That actually happening, that would be pretty sinister. Yeah, that's why it's great. That'd be great. <laughs> like, if anything happens to me, I want them to not pull the plug. I want to be a burden. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody around me. I want to be a, I want to be a Terry Shivo burden. <laughs> he had millions and none of it went to his children. No, he, I just want people uh, to have candlelight vigils because they think they're doing something right. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be right on the edge of death and then shoved in the trunk of a car like Susan Smith did to her kids yeah. and just driven into the Detroit River. That's a great way. Yeah. Every time I hear one of those I agree stories, with I think I'm thought sad. is a ravine. What are the kids doing? Yeah. That's what I want. That's not bad. Yeah. As a parent of five kids, ravine. that has to be your first thought. It is. I, I'm, I'm empathetic to the, uh, to the mom. Yeah. I know what those kids were doing. She probably told them to stop several times. It's true. Austin. And she didn't get the break of uh, going to federal prison for... That's true. Mm-hmm. Seventy some days to no. get a break from him. She's like, "What am I doing on Jan 6? <laughs> <laughs> Can we start this whole coup up again? 
Yeah, I enjoyed Norman Lear's work, obviously. So anyways, tribute to Norman Lear. <laughs> this was a nine minute. I want to be, I just want to be butt tunneled in a ravine in the back of a car. Anyways, he was a great man. Great, great man. And we just want to say thank you to Norman Lear. Great Norman Lear found in Thailand. Uh, <laughs> Wearing high heels, pants around his ankles, <laughs> by a maid, oh, yes. who they believe stole his wallet because he had to be identified by his teeth. Mm. I uh, want the speech at my funeral to resemble what we just did. Yeah, I, that's the worst way to die. How, whatever it is, where they have to say we had to use dental records. Mm. You never want people to go. That's how we know it's him. Yeah. His teeth were found in the vagina of a Thailand hooker. Yeah. <laughs> there was a note on the nightstand from Paul Pelosi. <laughs> Thanks for a great time with love. Yeah. It, it, well, it's just teeth all over the room from the hammer. Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Too far Dave. with the hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. That's in your will, like how you can kill yourself in Canada. You're like, I want to be beaten to death. Yeah, do you get to choose? By a San Franciscan street whore, <laughs> man whore. I think you. I don't know. I think they have suicide chambers in uh, Canada now. Like gas chamber, you can gas. No, they yourself. look like uh, they look like almost something you would go into in a movie, like a space pod. It looks like, like a pod, like a sleep, yeah, like, like something uh, very science fiction oriented. Yeah, you like go a, into yeah. a room. There's a gun on the table, and the view is on nonstop. Yeah, and then they tell everybody you were in a like pod. <laughs> You know, for Paul Pelosi, ball peen describes the object he likes to be hit with and where he likes to be hit with it. <laughs> Where's my camera? Where's my camera? Hit it right there. I, if I got a good line tonight. There it is. Right there, right there. Uh, Zing. Keep throwing them in, baby. You're always on. It's good. It's hot. I'm just trying to figure out how to go with this story because it just pretty much ends on <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much done. Hall of Fame with 1984. No, but Norman Lear was obviously a genius. And if he wasn't, he knew how to hire him. Really in influential in our culture. Like, yeah, he changed television. Absolutely. No, it's he's really about as much as I know. I know when I would stay home sick, Price is Right and Norman Lear shows would be something that I would watch. Mm -hmm. I, I loved The Jeffersons. That was my show. I watched that more than... Um, uh, all in the Family. I think I've seen maybe a couple episodes of All I in the Family, but I watched the Jeffersons more. Oh, you got to go. I watched it more too. Yeah, I, I watched. I loved All in the Family. Oh, it's great. Oh but, my! But the Jeffersons came from All, right? And right. so did Maude. Right. Yeah, there was a uh, there was a episode where they actually did a crossover event, wasn't there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, he was the. I didn't even know this because I watched more Jeffersons. He was what their neighbor. Their neighbor. Neighbor. Mm -hmm. And then they spun it off into a TV show. They used to do that all the time. From what I can gather, Norman Lear made one show, and then every character that ever appeared on it got their own show. That's a genius. Which is pretty good, because mm -hmm. there's Maud, mm -hmm. and then there was the Jeffersons, and then there was uh, uh, Wheezy's house. And then Joni loves Wheezy house? And then Joni loves Chachi. Yeah. Joni no. loves Chachi was one. Right. How <laughs> many spinoffs of one show? Did he do Happy Days? Are those Happy Days? No. no. Oh, okay. He might have done Happy That's Days. different. But that wasn't. I have no idea. I have no. I haven't heard of any of these. Shows. I mean, I've heard I've of them, but I've never seen any of these shows. Do you know the the set for that show? From you guys set? said it, and I was like, "That's awesome. That's cool." You were lying. I was being polite. You don't. You don't know. <laughs> I still think it's cool. I, I I appreciate the history of it. I really. How I think old that's are you? cool. Thirty two. How would you not know what that is? I've never seen any of those shows. I, I know them, but... Did you have Nick at Night? What did you watch? I watched Fresh Prince growing up. Me too, but... George Lopez. Okay. Yeah, I watched some of that. Let's ease up on that. You know, like 2 a.m.? That's how I knew I was up too late when George Lopez was on. He starts know. dancing. You're not talking about when I'm like 10, you know? Well, I, mean, I have nothing against George Lopez. It was just that was a new show for me. Yeah. Like, you were 10. I was in my 20s doing comedy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's... <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, it, I still feel like I, I know it? those shows because of references, and uh, I think in Dodgeball he's like Joni loves Chachi. Yeah, but I've never seen so an episode when, of that show. Yeah, so Is I just know those shows because of references days. from other things. Scott Bayo. Scott Bayo. Yep. Mm hmm. And you, you never seen Happy Days with the Fonz? Uh, just like clips and stuff. Never seen an episode. Ron Howard. I've heard of the the shark jump, jumping the shark. Yep. It's the literal first jumping yeah. the shark. Mm -hmm. He could fix. So I heard the phrase before. I knew that, yeah. That Fonz was great because it was Henry Winkler who was actually afraid of motorcycles, so that's what they had him ride. And he was basically a well-educated, uh, young, short Jewish guy from New York who ended up playing Arthur Fonzarelli, the toughest Italian in Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's true. Is he like five it's two, such like off character, yeah. one hundred and twenty pounds. Yeah, he's just like hey. he's so good in everything though. Like he's such a good character actor. Oh, I love Henry Winkler. Yeah. He was great in Scream. Oh yeah, and then he gets hung from the field. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, he gets wrecked. <laughs> but I love him in uh, Waterboy. Waterboy, he's great. Adam Sandler uses him so he's well. In Barry as well, a new show. Yeah, he's Later great. Show. Yeah. He's great in Barry. Pretty good. He's very good in Barry. Yeah, he's just. A, it's interesting because he's so nice and kind, and you know it that. The original character that like blew him up is the opposite. Yeah, and I was reading this uh, book that just came out, and he talks about that how he was like this nerdy kid who didn't know what to do, and he goes into this audition for something that he thinks he'll never get, but he could transform into a character, and then he just nailed it, and they gave it to him. But he couldn't read lines because he has um, dyslexia. Or something? Dyslexia. Oh. So yeah, it was very hard for him to remember all the lines and everything. But he still managed you, to pull it off Not because as... he was a character. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> because he was a kid from New Jersey. Yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. why. Yeah, what he, are you dyslexic? I'm from was, Jersey. Yeah. No, I just, no. Jersey. What you, you can't read. I'm from Jersey. No, I can. Uh, tracks. I it, unless it says pizza. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Norman Lear also did Sanford and Son. Did he really? Yeah, that was the best show. Sanford and Son, Facts of Life. You're doing more Words research work over there than, than uh, Mangela did. That yeah, he's like did, young uh, Jamie over there. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Sanford and Son was great. Sanford's uh, Red Fox is one of the greatest to ever live. Oh yeah, yeah. And there was well the ones that we mentioned here that uh, that yeah, yeah. Maud, yeah, all in the family, yeah. But this one came up right away. Sanford and Son. I forgot that he did that. Hundred and one. All the bacon grease. What nice do you think grease. makes it? But I think that's that generation because you notice that a lot of those people live so long. Yeah, I think it's because their exposure to everything. <laughs> Like they're like, look, I got through asbestos and you know, yeah, coal miners Agent Orange. Long. I think it was yeah. because of they were before processed food, before uh, the uh, cigarette I, yes. companies. They like then they like partner with, uh, with they bought all the food companies in yes. like the eighties or nineties, and they started implementing the same techniques yep. to get people addicted to foods. Yep. Yeah, dude. I, I think they were just before all of that, where it's like I was raised on that food. Microwave. So I'm probably gonna die at sixty. That never one stopped smoking a pack and a half a day. Now they're dropping from heart attacks. Yeah, that's interesting. Well, that's there, a different thing. I... Same company. Well, <laughs> sort of, <laughs> not really. But it, well, I guess the difference is, is back then, uh, late night talk shows used to be brought to you by cigarettes, and now they're just brought to you by dancing needles. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, okay. If ever, if nobody knows, you, I don't know how you don't know this. You are the lectern guy. I am. And six. How long were you detained? Uh, so I was arrested a couple of days afterwards. I did four days in isolation, uh, did a hearing, did a year um, where they had to do FBI proffers and all these things. They took my phone, couldn't go anywhere, ankle monitors, and then uh, came down to it. They dropped two of the charges. They gave me a misdemeanor for trespassing, and I got 75 days in federal prison, a $5,000 fine, 200 hours of community service, and a year of supervised release. So they let you off easy. So, they did. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to give you a warning this time, lectern guy. Yeah, they really could have thrown the book yeah, at you. Next yeah. time. Next now you, time. You pull up Landau's rap sheet. <laughs> they could have just taken your phone. That would have been punished I enough. I, did, I haven't done 75 days combined. Yeah, what the, I know. And no, I deserve it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> For all the crap Insane. you did? Yeah. Are you oh kidding me? God. So I, I guess I have a question, too. I guess we can ask. You know, can we ask about it if yeah. that's okay? Okay. So why did you go? Not it, Was it because of the Trump was having a rally? Um, I've never been to a Trump rally before. Okay, it was the I'm, first one. So many people assume it was this yeah, the giant first one? stage thing of like we're gonna storm the Capitol, but in reality, it was just a rally, right? Yeah, I just show up. It's it's a rally. You've got speakers. It's a, it's an event. You right. Know, the only thing that was missing was like popcorn vendors. That's it's, yeah. That's, that's what's so crazy. Really because, simple day. Yeah, they, at the end, they told us, "Hey, we're gonna go down to the Capitol. The protest is down there. Everyone marches. Everything's fine, and then it's not fine." Yeah, how is the how is that? So you're you're in a rally. It's normal. You're outside, and then who decides like, hey, we're going inside now? And you just go, okay, because well, it seemed a, to be that that's way. A big be question that we do not have answers for yet. Right. Well, there are um, there have been people that have actually been acquitted of all charges because cops did let them inside and they were ushering them in. We've got a lot of evidence coming out right now. I think Mike Johnson just released a lot of footage. He's blurring a lot of images. You can guess why? Mm -hmm. And um, we're going to find out actually what happened. 
as far as why I went inside, because there was 50 people in front of me walking inside. Right. I've seen so many protests inside that building across the past five years. And I mean, even the ones that happened this year, who's going to prison for going inside of a building from those? Mm -hmm. How is how I supposed to think I'm not I'm going to go to prison for this? Right. I mean, I was told that's a building you're allowed to protest exactly. in. It's the people's house. It's a public building. My, my taxes go towards it. I go and I walk around and I'm in prison for it. Now, since then, I have visited four other capitals. And I've also gone back to the D.C. Capitol, and I've not been arrested for going the crime. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, I remember in Forrest Gump when Jenny runs into the pool in D.C. Yeah. And then gets shot. <laughs> Vividly. <laughs> like, it, I know Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't look at me. I know. I'm not that, that young. <laughs> but I mean... Essentially, this is a building that's public because right. it belongs to the people, yes? Yes. And and I, am I wrong that you were allowed to go in there before this specific Jan 6? Like yes. It was like you could it's go only in there. four days out of the year. Yeah. Only four days out of the year. Technically, that, that building was open that day. That's what I don't understand is like it's a public building. Mm -hmm. When you break it down to look at what happened and you stop listening to what everybody's saying about this, because they've yeah. built it into a thing of, you know, the second 9-11 and everything, you know, that's just right. absurd. And it's like, it's really people that went to a rally. Yes. And ended up walking into a building, which anybody else would be allowed to do. And now you're finding out that people were waved in. There were people, which I think is insane because that's as if you're being made an example of. I'm not saying that would yep. ever happen. I don't think anybody in, in, in power <laughs> no, <I mean>. or <laughs> elites would do something to harm anyone. Why would they? Well, the only really? difference is that, you know, we it was the ivory tower, right? We challenged our betters and they were pissed off about it. Right. That's it. And we had to be taught a lesson. And I look at it and people ask me all the time, would you do it again? And I say, yes, I say, absolutely. Because I truly believe that what has happened to me, what has happened to a lot of people, lets a lot of people understand how bad things actually are, yeah. how far they will go to punish you if you ask the right, if you ask the wrong questions, you know, and I don't know. I encourage people to really look into what's going on. There's a lot of resources online. You can go to my, my Twitter feed. We're constantly releasing videos of what's happening. So, And the deal, the arrangement you've made, are we allowed to talk about that? Sure. Is you can't make money off of this. No. So uh, the plea deal came down and they wanted me to uh, sign something saying I could never profit off of my likeness, my image, any of the events of January 6th, songs, podcasts, all these things for a lifetime. And I said, I can't sign that. I don't want a contract with the government for a lifetime. So we got to talk down to five years. I've got a little less than three years now. So okay. anytime I go do these podcasts, go talk to anyone, it's, it's on my dime, on my dollar. Um, I don't take food. I don't take money for flights, hotels, cars. I do this because it's important for us to speak. Now, why would someone who, um, I can't think of the gentleman's name, um, who was uh, not there, um, uh, Enrique Re Tario. Thank you. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. For the now, he's physically not there, mm -hmm. and he's serving a life sentence. Is that correct? He got twenty-two years, in, uh, and he was in jail already, what? wasn't he? Yes, he was in jail for uh, taking a BLM flag off of a church a few months before and setting it on fire. They and it was destruction of private property, so they put him in prison for and it. And essentially, life is twenty-five years in a lot of places. Yes. So he got twenty-two years, which is just shy. Mm -hmm. And this is, and he was not actually at the event. No, wasn't even there. Why? There was some email correspondence that he had. That's what it was? He said that he was arranging this. He was a mastermind. He is the reason all of this happened. Wow. When, when literal child rapists get off in like four years. Oh, they get years? off much quicker yeah. than that. <laughs> oh, well, well, the four. <laughs> that, wow. that is the cause. <laughs> Actually, the four years <laughs> remains Are we the cycling same. back to the, uh, the Pete Diddy I'm conversation? I'm trying to sneak them in when I can. Going yes, back to should. the Pete Diddy, uh, Pete Diddy story? <laughs> You're a comic. That was fine. Uh, there was an anchor. It was it well for played. MSNBC that uh, just got arrested. He was supposed to be the um, the aficionado on Pizzagate. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sorry. But, um, but they just found out that this guy's got like stacks and stacks of child porn on his computer. Right. And he got six years for that. He really? Got six years for that. Usually you just get hired at Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they put you in charge of the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah, right. You've got for work shows? to do. 
<laughs> now you had to pay for your own attorney for this whole thing. Yes, your hundred, attorney's fees, hundred thousand dollars, hundred grand, and you couldn't. Now you're not allowed to. You couldn't get crowdfunding to help you out with this. No, I couldn't. Um, so we actually had a website put up in the initially. I think we had like a couple thousand dollars that were donated. Uh, the DOJ was very upset about that, so we had to return all of the money. So we had to pay for every last cent of it. That sounds like suppression. You have five children. I do. Five sons. And a wife who I've met. And uh, so with that amount- I would like to be there next time. What's that? I would like to be there next time when you meet her. I know, but it, it was a thing. Look, okay. Hey, if you're gonna go on those websites and okay things, thank God we had this miracle brand sheets. We met on whatthecuck.org, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this trophy to my collection. Listen, I got to uh, test these sheets. Ooh. You mind if I borrow your wife? <laughs> if I borrow your wife's butt tunnel for a little bit, I've got. <laughs> They're bacterial resistant. <laughs> Derek. I'm going to wear a... <laughs> <laughs> that was too far, dude. Everybody else was like beating around the bush. Yeah. You just you're like, hey, you mind if I borrow your wife's butt tunnel? <laughs> I'm going <laughs> you know, to wear a Come sport on. coat inside out and a sideways <laughs> hat like the Fresh Prince. Oh, <laughs> uh, All right. Look, yeah, so anyways, Norman rails. Lear. Norman Lear, 101. <laughs> 101 years old. Died of being a great raped man. Died by Dwayne. at January 6th. <laughs> <laughs> he was hit with a podium. Yeah, so anyway, yes. So Norman Lear. Lectern. 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 Norman Lear Lectern. was Lectern. shot crawling in a window on January 6th. <laughs> All right, sorry. After he dropped Eric Clapton's Serious baby out the window. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, I don't. Right, we're right. back. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I just read it. That's not true. Okay, um. Because we do, we have eight minutes. We got to respect it mm -hmm. because uh, today is uh, uh, an RNC debate that uh, is very exciting. Yes, it's like watching, um, you know. I think just the people commenting on it for content are the ones watching it. It's just gonna be them. Yeah, I think Chris Christie is gonna be fun to watch because no matter what he says, he's fat. <laughs> He's got a special microphone to block his breathing. It just doesn't matter. Like, you can't go, you're, you can't take care of a country when you can't take care of yourself. <laughs> I don't trust No him. one's ever, like, the one thing he's had no. to fix for his entire time being a politician, he's like, well, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, hey, That's hey, like, like sandwiches too much. Hey, I don't Chris, think you know that politician who can't climb stairs? No, it's no reason. You know that new policy you implemented? How, how do you expect we're going to go about that on account of your fat? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm just curious about the details. I like these beach pictures of uh, you looking like Dr. Moreau oh. on the family with your ocean. <laughs> Not ashamed ocean. of that any at all, no? Okay. Martha's Vineyard. Which Where you were... actually are the island. Yes. <laughs> and the island of Dr. Moreau. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a lot of plays. Oh, anyway. It does. I we're all over the place. But, so, but I think that it sucks what happened to you. You're a really nice guy. You came to one of my shows, and that's how we met. And then I met you and your wife together. Damn. Well, you dog. I know, right? Okay. <laughs> right. That's how their family works. Oh, we went grave robbing. But, Old to Kavanaugh. I mean, seriously, he's got some debt. It's indelible in the hippocampus. <laughs> but what do you, uh, but you are helping out other people that have been kind of screwed over by the situation. And how are you doing that? Yes. So um, I just got permission from the government that I'm allowed to donate my works of art. To, um, to charity to be auctioned off to go towards kids and families who were left behind after January 6th. So um, I build these lecterns. That's right here. It's very pretty. It's you build them yourself. I do build these myself. Yeah, you're I, these are These are handcrafted. Uh, everyone is numbered and signed. And what we're doing is just auctioning them off. There's actually one auction ring right now. If you go to my uh, Twitter page, it's at Lectern Leader. And Lectern is L-E-C-T-E-R-N. People put it with you all the time. If you go to the page, you can actually put bids on it. And again, all the money, 100% of it goes straight to kids. Oh. And we're going to keep putting more and more of these up and see if we can just do some good. Dude, that, that's you. great because you could you could have just left and gone back into the shadows and licked your wounds, right? But you, you're you trying to do good with the notoriety that you have. That's, that's great. Thanks, man. Well, I mean, it's important for people to see I'm not broken. Yeah. You know, they tried very, very hard to break my family, to break me, and I, I, I won't be quiet. I can't be quiet about it because if I'm quiet, everyone else will think they have to be quiet too. Yeah. Yeah. And if we don't, uh, we, if we don't have a people that are willing to stand up against their government, we're just, we're done. Yes. Well, and the true story behind you is that you literally grabbed that lectern and moved it 20 feet. Yes. That was it. You didn't steal the lectern. You mean you didn't take lectern. it across state lines? 
<laughs> or something. Like, I bought a second ticket for it on the airline, buckled it in. Oh. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't. Which would be hilarious. Well, I watched it on the highway so that you could go on the uh, fast route. Yeah, you didn't. Fast lane there. <laughs> you just have a lectern with a wig on it. Yeah. You treat it like the traveling gnome. You just take pictures of him in Rome. <laughs> the lectern. This is Disney Norman World. Lear. Ah, poor Norman Lear. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, Derek, where can we see you? <laughs> I'm going to be at uh, Side Splitters Comedy Club in Wesley Chapel, Florida, coming up uh, December 7, 8, 9, and 10. That'll be at the uh, Comedy Cabana in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, December 28th through the 31st. That is uh, that is New Year's. going to be a great time. And then, of course, uh, going to be with uh, be with Dave January 5th at the Roxy oh. in Rochester, doing a couple shows that night. Yeah, it's going to be very good. Come out to Rochester, Michigan. And uh, yeah, Rochester, Michigan, not Minnesota. People will ask Rochester. Or Rochester, New York. Or New York. Yeah, or Rochester, Michigan. Wow, that's really good. Rochester, Alabama. Yeah. Or my friend Rod at Chester, who makes very gay porn. Oh. Austin? Yeah, I got a ton of stuff coming up uh, almost every weekend right now until about March. Uh, I play a lot of breweries, resorts, and wineries. So uh, if you go to my website, MidwestComedyTour.com, uh, we've got Madison, Ohio, Grand Haven, Ohio, Delaware, Youngstown. Uh, we've got Bloomington, Illinois. We're going to be in Wisconsin, Bloomer, Wisconsin. And then February 24th, uh, playing the uh, Belois Skycarp uh, Minor League Baseball Stadium there. So just look at MidwestComedyTour.com and you'll find everything. Very cool. Nice. Uh, and you can find me on uh, my personal channel or Nerd Rodic, where we put up videos about pop culture. We do a show on Friday called Friday Night Tights. Uh, it is about tights that we wear all on a show, all together. So if that's what you're into, that's what we do. Thanks. Enjoy it. And me, last and certainly not least, probably most important, this weekend <laughs> uh, I will be in Syracuse, New York. Uh, you can catch me at The Funny Bone, and then you can catch my other dates at DaveLando.com, as well as the Irving Theater, December 15th in Indianapolis, Indiana, as well as the Art Theater, December 16th in Hobart, Indiana. So please come out to those shows. Uh, and now, I want to thank you both for coming to the show, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you oh. so much for having us. Um, like, you giving young comics, like, uh, you know, this is my first time. You're 32. You guys, well, you guys giving <laughs> middle-aged <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> I am also 32. Damn. Why do you guys say that like that? You guys giving Norman Lear aged comics <laughs> opportunities like this really means a lot, man. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Well, you've earned it. You're absolutely hilarious. Yeah, you're great. Austin's been opening for Matt and I on the road now for years, and it's just nice to, you know, have Thank you so much. Funny. Seriously. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you. Check them out, Austin Robertson and Adam Johnson. Thank you so much for coming on the show as well. Now we bring you to the end of the world. All right. Who should be person of the year other than Taylor Swift? Mm, UB. A lot of great choices. The Jewish part of uh, George Santos. I think that's right. When he decides. Yeah, yeah. When, he, when he figures that out. <laughs> Derek. I'm going to go with the male version of Dylan Mulvaney. Austin. Well, I'm going to go with the female version of Dylan Mulvaney. How about that, Derek? <laughs> <laughs> Adam. Uh, Elliot Page. Okay. That's <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> we could also do both versions. And I will go with Cocaine Bear Ooh. or the entire cast of Good Burger 2. <laughs> what about Good Burger much. 1? Listen, yes, if you're... you're not good enough to get into Good Burger 2. Oh. What? what was that? Was it written by Norman Lear? Good Burger 2? Yes, it was. Yeah. It's actually what killed him. Yeah. He had two burgers... <laughs> And his, a heart attack. His heart stopped. Because <coughs> one was filled with Pfizer. Yeah. All right, anyway. <laughs> All right. What I'll happened see you tomorrow? Good night, everybody. Bye.